I've decided to let go of 14,000 so that I can earn back 55,000 at least and this video is going to be for those of you who currently owns a savings plan or endowment plan or an investment link plan. Subscribe and give me an early thumbs up. I'm going to bring up one of my personal saving plans that I have right now and do a detailed breakdown and comparison to see if it makes more sense for me to hold on to this policy or to surrender it and to move on with my money in maybe other investment. Although I've always known that my saving policies is earning me peanut, but I've been holding on to it because when I see the surrender value, I'm like, crap. I can't bear to lose the money that I have already put in. So to give you guys an understanding, here's my policy. I bought this policy four years ago from Aviva. It is called My Wealth Plan. The policy term is 18 years and the premium term is 10 years. So this means that for the first 10 years, I'm supposed to pay and contribute to this policy for the first 10 years and then keep my money there for the next 8 years until maturity. So if I were to continue with this policy for the entire 18 years, I will be able to get out $96,200 based on their best projection at 4.75%. I've been contributing $511 every month to this policy for the past 4 years and as of now, my total contribution to this policy is about $24,000 and if I were to surrender this policy right now, I can only take back $9,874. Guys, this is what I was talking about. I mean, every time I take out this policy and look at this table, I think about the 14,000 that I'm going to lose if I were to surrender this policy. That's why I've been holding on to it until now. Let's do a proper comparison right now. I'm just going to use this calculator that I found online to help me. Link in description. Now if I were to surrender this policy and take out the $9,874 as my initial capital investment and continue to dollar cost average $511 every month till the 10th year which means I have about 6 more years to go and let the money grow at 10% per year and I'm taking 10% because according to business time S&P 500 for the past 10 years has been growing at an annual average of 13.6% at the end of the 10th year, I would have $68,500 which is already more than what I've put in in total for the entire 10 years which also means that I've already made back my losses of $14,000. And to make this an apple to apple comparison, for the next 8 years, I'm going to stop the monthly contribution and just let the sum of money grow at 10% per year. At the end of 18 years, I would have $152,000 instead of $96,200 which is 55,000 more. Wow, guys, imagine what if I invest the money in other growth stocks like Tesla and C. The money is going to grow to the moon. I'm definitely going to call my insurance to surrender this policy. I think sometimes the fear of losing money is preventing me from making more money. And it's only with proper calculation then you can tell which one makes a better sense. I hope this video helps you so that you can also review your existing savings plan, endowment plan and investment link policy so that you can make your own informed decision. But if you are not disciplined enough to do dollar cost average, then you are being too lazy to be richer. Let me know what you think. See you in the next video.